And welcome back. This is Kotal. It is Sunday. Um, happy Easter for those that celebrate it. I uh, hope you all to go. And I was actually not expecting to record today, but um, I do have a little bit of time, so I'll be able to catch, I hope, I hope both maps, but at least the first one uh, for this historical rules event. It is Reno's Fall. Uh, it's only one server again with the holiday. It's a pretty low uh, pop. I'm hoping everybody is enjoying time with their families um, and enjoying the holiday. Uh, for those that are here, I hope they uh, you know enjoy the game for the hour or so that uh, it'll be tonight. It is an attacking CSA with 109 and defending Union with 105. And on that Union team, I'll just make sure they had no already. They have the NYV led by Parker, the SB led by Ulti. 51st 12th PA led by Qual. 5th Corps led by Chris Moto. Victor leading the 4th New Jersey. And Eddie leading the 2 USC joined by SR, it looks like. Alright, let's check out the CSA team. They have. Let's see here. 10th Tennessee with Major Cat. We've got Major Kenner leading the 20th Georgia. Let's see. I hear there's 9th Corps led by Uncle Dragon. A and V led by Colonel Killer. Uh, DB led by... I don't know who's leading DB right now. Uh, Potsolna? Potsolna. Potsolna? Potsolna? I don't know. I, I, if I'm wrong on that, I apologize. We've got another AV 6AL led by Sergeant Max Veers. Two Corps led by Major Durandil. 13 Georgia led, led by Major Cawthon. HD led by Captain Homa. And I believe I saw AB, 5th Alabama, here as well, led by Captain Moose. As well as JB led by Captain Schumacher. And I believe that is everybody. If I missed anybody, uh, please let me know. Uh, we are live at 40, and since we just hit 40, but there's no sprinting and there's no bayonets until the 30-minute mark for the historical rules event here. Let's get a kind of big overview of the battle. As you can see, here's the point of contention. CSA spawn, Union spawn. So it looks like the Union has opted for a forward defense here. Who's out front here? It is 4th New Jersey under Mr. Victor. And he's letting off some initial shots here against Kennedy as he's maneuvering into the woods. Now we do have a wide flank maneuver by a very sizable force of the CSA here. Multiple units going over to, to try to get onto the flank of the Union here. This is going to cause some major problems for this Union team in this forward position as they are quickly getting enveloped here. Yeah, filthy rabs, eat my plus five, holy Yeah, I'd say right now the Union um, is going to have to react pretty quickly here. Here comes Killer putting in some flanking fire into the Union line here. They're taking some shots as well, but frankly, I think they can handle it for a little bit. <laughs> Excuse me. Fourth New Jersey is getting really isolated out here. You can see two USC has already pulled back. And the only ones left here are Fourth New Jersey. It is time to go, gentlemen. All right, fall back, fall back. There's the order. It might be too late, though. As you can see, Cawthon has already occupied this forward position here. You've got two core putting in some covering fire as well. But HD is moving forward onto the left flank, as is the JB. Here's Captain Schumacher. Getting onto the Union right flank here. Meantime, the rest of the CSA is forming a pretty strong line here with the A and B along with the DB putting pressure on the Union, facing them off against the NYV and the SB. So an initial little delay ops operation there by the uh, Union, but um, the CSA, oh, now we got a fight here on the center here. Two USC kind of got caught out over here. And Sluggy tries to get away. As Tukor chases him off, but Sluggy makes it out alive. 
and getting that flag out of there. That was pretty key right there. Now the problem for the Union is right here, so we have 5th Corps under Chris Moto moving up here, facing off against uh, HD. But if this flank collapses here, the Union is going to be in a lot of trouble. Let's see if 5th uh, Corps can hold off Captain Homa and the HD. Back up, boys. Back up. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Back up. Now there's no bayonets right now. Keep that in mind. Now the problem for the CSA right now is they don't have a flag with them while the Union does, so it's going to be very hard for them to maintain this position without additional help. Well, your flag placement sucks. There's officer, officer, kill him, kill him. Go away, Eddie. Yeah. And you can see the problem. You cannot stand and fight against a union with the flag if you don't have one. Captain Homer was going to go back to his men, but he has no division. And the CSA actually early capped here. Here we get the six Alabama here under who's commanding them? Sergeant Max Veers. I almost shot you, Prussian. Yeah, big line, big line, so and they move it to the snow wall on our left. So, 5th Corps was able to hold on to that flank there, which I think is pretty critical right now to keep the Union in this game here. But they still have a major problem here with this fist right here, with two flags. That is going to be very hard to stop, but at least so far, they can still maintain some coverage of the main point. Here comes Parker in the Carboy tip of the spear here. over here. Company right turn. Oh shit. Right, right turn. turn. Right. They're down there. Front line. 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 You can see the CSA has this angle here pretty well covered. See if Parker can hold on. Who's he fighting down here? He's fighting the A and V. Specifically killer and he's gonna redeploy his men. Try to get some cover. Come on, Jesus. Grandpa, you can do it. <laughs> what do you want to do, second door? Uh, southeast. There's a union flag, southeast. Company, Roger that. Keep it up, 13. Okay. Keep it up. Okay. Southwest, southeast. Yeah, you got both ways. Independent fire, 13. Anjou, sur les fesses du deux. In retreat, we're going, people. We're going away from that spot. That cursed spot. We're all dying. Not and SB is going to pull back a little further. The problem with that maneuver is you're going to leave this sector a little bit more vulnerable to flank and fire. Though here comes Eddie try to plug that hole. We'll see if Eddie can keep this flank secure for the Union. Aim for the smoke. Take it out. Eddie, Aim for the smoke, boys. Pick up the flag. Come on, boys. Shoot the bomb. Thank you. Make that plus five. Holy damage. Second break through those. Right face on the wall. All right, so the order is to head to the wall. I disagree with this instruction from Victor because I think if they can swing around here, you're going to invalidate the cover. You do have SB back here to kind of hold it, but you've seen they've already gotten pushed back here. 
And the Union has to figure a way to get forward here. They're losing the shootout here, and they still need to counterattack. So they've got to make a move here. Right now, the longer this goes on, the more trouble they're in. And here we got HD has moved back up, kind of threatening Fifth Corps. And Fifth Corps, though, is going to give up this flank here. Possibly moving back to the center, but this is dangerous. You're going to open up a possibility for HD to flank in through the corn and infiltrate and get behind the Union line. That could be extremely dangerous. HD is very good at getting back behind enemy lines and flanking them out. Uh, and you can see the problem here. SB has moved over here. Now you start to take... Let's move out here so you can kind of see it. So you got an L formation here, but you can see it now. The CSA is starting to kind of get an arc of fire against you. And just squeezing you and squeezing you. And you are losing that ticket battle. Now you've got 5th Corps has moved over here. And here comes HD. They're going to flank around you. So the CSA has done a great job of putting the Union into a bowl here. And if they just stay here, they are going to be in uh, some sizable trouble, I think, here. They have to figure a way out of this problem here. They can't just maintain this. They will not win if they do so. Jesus, I just took a fucking ball shot to the face and live. I am invincible. You can see how much harder it is to melt the unit. Than it used to be. And yep, here comes that attack. Here comes that flank attack by Homa. Now, the problem with this attack is he, again, went in without a flag to support him, and Fifth Corps went to maneuver. Unless this element here comes to support him, Fifth Corps is likely going to be able to defeat Homa. We need bodies on the objective to take back the point. Yeah, we're getting flanked right now by groups. I'm down. Okay. I'll let him know. I'll let him know. And here comes JB to do some additional flanking. Now, if JB can sneak behind here and knock out this flag, that might even up the fight. Now, you can see here how the Union is getting squeezed and squeezed and squeezed. I said he's getting flanked by rebel groups from down To be honest with you, 5th Corps, I would I would recommend charge out this element from HD and secure their flank. And here you got uh, SB did a little bit of a distraction attack and now has drawn off the SB to chase them off in the corn, but they're already gone here. And Homer has succeeded in pushing 5th Corps. You know, let's zoom out again. Look at this, look at this bowl that the Union has been put on. Put into, I should say. Not put on, put it into. English, motherfucker, do you speak it? Apparently I don't. His Cawthorn moving up now with the flag. That is going to become a much bigger problem now. As is, is Two Corps moving up as well? They are indeed. This is going to become a major problem for the Union. If this flank falls and the Union loses this foothold, they will be trapped in their main and it will be game over. They will not, in my opinion, be able to knock them back off of it. Not the way the CSA team is playing right now. On his way back. And not with the new flag respawn times. Out to that light. Now SB is going to try to move up. I'm sorry, I'm not so stupid. I'm sorry. Oh, it's a line, it's a line. Now again, there's no bayonets and no sprinting right now, so that makes taking the point very difficult here. I believe 9.30 is when it will go live if it's on the counterattack, but the admins will make an announcement. So that makes charging out of this position very difficult for the Union. So I can understand why they're just trying to shoot it out right now. But it's uh, the CSA is making much better use of it, and it's really squeezing the Union into an unfavorable position. Oh, here comes a forward maneuver. There we go. You see that the uh, here comes the 20th. They moved up. And the Union has been squeezed out of this position by the positioning of the CSA forces here. And 5th Corps is now cut off here, and they are going to get cut to pieces in here. Don't run! 
They're right here, southwest, guys, southwest. Zero, zero, zero. I think we've got hostiles. 13, southwest, southwest. Nine minutes! Nine minutes! All right, Joe, now the key is they have to knock out this flag here. So 13 Georgia right now needs to turn around and deal with this threat in their rear. If not, the fifth core might become a continuous problem for them. Yeah, you guys were kind of fixated on the wrong thing. And because they didn't deal with fifth core, they got their manpower back. They had their flag up and they were able to survive what should have been an easy wipe. So that was a critical error there for that CSA element there shooting at these guys as opposed to dealing with the men right behind them. And you can see that. You might not see them. You see that flag, though. There's no excuse for that. Now, they did pull back a little bit, so they'll be able to reorient themselves a little bit. But now that fifth corps has held on, that will allow the Union to have some options here. Although still not great. That's a friendly to the loaded, boys. Shoot him anyway. Shoot him anyway. Schumacher is still doing his little disrupt operations here. Messing with 12th VA over there. Ninth Corps holding on to the flank here. And here comes the attack. We are not alive. We are now with bayonets. Let's see if the CSA can hold back this charge. Again, that fifth core hold, I think, is key to this. See if they can punch through that side here. Here comes the main attack. Storm the enemy! Storm the enemy, You can see they were able to hold that launching pad versus these guys that were not there. And those guys are outside the fight. So because of that, and I think because of the fifth core hold here, the Union is in a great spot to retake this position here. What needs to happen, though, for the CSA, these elements here need to disrupt this force here, as does... Well, this force here is basically blocked here by the NYV and the 2 USC in 4th New Jersey. They didn't win, but they tied down these elements here. So now this CSA element has to go in. And here comes HD and 2 core. And now they're going to charge in, but they're going to have to charge in against the stone wall here. And another tie down attack here by various elements hold down the rest of the CSA. So a great counterattack here by the Union. And the Union will succeed in retaking this point here. Again, I, I'm going to say, i kind of repeating myself, but this all came down to that hold that happened right there, in my opinion. That gave the Union the launching point that they needed to affect this. If they had to fight their way, if the CSA had a unit on this corner right here and delayed them, completely different outcome, in my opinion. So now the Union has won on that side, and the Union has won on this side. And they will get their tickets back and be able to reset the field here. Now, I would send a force out here to chase off that flag. Do not let them hang out. If you can knock down another flag, do it. There's only two men there. Send a unit to a go attack at Eddie's guys or somebody. Still not great. We're at 35 minutes, and they're halfway through an engagement state. But uh, they're back in the fight here. So good counterattack by the Union. I'm uh, My whole unit just spawned at base. Hey, except Rolo. Major Rolo. You're alive! Yeah, get behind us! Oh, 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 yeah, oh. You're a giant target! Uh, oh. So looks like Roll's gonna head up here to join up with this remnant here, which is mostly the JB. Oh, he got shot too. Nice sharpshooting by the Union. Now we've got two flags over here, so this is pretty dangerous. Again, if I was the Union, if I see two flags out here, if I could knock them down, 
I am in a great position. And in fact, look, here comes Eddie. Cutting off the retreat here. Great maneuver here by the home guard. Oh, no. Let's get the rest. Great awareness here by the two USC. Now this event is called the, uh, well first off this game is called War of Rights. It is a first person shooter. Um, Civil War, every person you see in here is an individual player. That controls their character. Come on then, I'll have you, I'll have you. Oh, the rest of the two USC, go get them. Finish them off, there's only two of them. Finish them off, there you go. But the game is available on Steam for 30 US dollars, so if you want to pick it up, I highly recommend it. Um, this event is a private event. It is called the Historical okay, Rules it. Event. It is hosted every Sunday at 7 p.m. GMT. Uh, there is a link in the description to the event. If you have a unit and you're looking for a Sunday event, there is plenty of room, Jesus. and I highly recommend it. If you are a player, you know, either new, veteran, whatever your status, and you're looking for a unit uh, to play in these private events, there is a link in the description to all these units' discords. That is how you sign up and join. Uh, check them out. See what times they play. You know, see uh, you know what group you might want to be with. And uh, you too can participate in these events. And if you like this channel and uh, want to see a few more videos like this, uh, the subscribe button will be in the bottom right hand of your screen. I would always appreciate the support, along with the uh, general support of you know, subscribe liking, sharing, commenting nice on the video. And again, the comments are really what I think helped me a lot. Um, let me know how the video went, what I did well, how the units did. Um, I really want to get more of the conversation going right now um, on the event. So hearing what you guys thought, what you guys saw if you were players, or things you saw as just a watcher that you know interested you. Um, so creating more of a conversation in the, uh, in the videos. I'm going to try to, uh, I might actually start making these live streams, I don't know, I'll have to talk to the unit, uh, the event administrators, um, to get some, just so you guys have a little bit more engagement, I want to try to engage the community a little bit more in these type of events, to hear what you guys are thinking and what you observe, so, uh, let me know what you think of that, too, if that's, if you're like, no, 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 just stick to your current format, or, if, yeah, let's change it up a bit, let me know what you guys would like to see. Yorkshire Regiment. Don't shoot the blue you see now the Union is close to taking losses at 32 minutes. That is not ideal. And they're going to have to do a better job of preserving their tickets or they're going to get outshot and shot down by the CSA here. So the CSA has opted to slow the battle down. Now I think that's a wise decision. They have plenty of time. They've got 31 minutes here to knock the Union down to possibly um, brigade, uh, brigade to knock it down to breaking. Um, so I think that's a wise decision on their part. Although you got a pretty strong attack here on the flank. Uh, let's see, 12 VA here is on this corner. We'll see if uh, Qual here can hold on. He's facing a lot of opposition in front of him. Left wheel onto the wall. Sorry, sorry. And we've got 5th Corps holding this uh, center position here. I think this is a little bit dangerous here. Um, it's, I'm very worried about this flank here. 12th VA does not have a flag with them, and they are facing a lot of fire here. I think as soon as the CSA realizes that they're going to roll up this flank. But then if they do, you can get them back into this back area. You know, they might cut off 5th Corps and be able to get behind the Union line. So far, they have not moved up, which is kind of surprising. They might not realize. They might think this is actually 5th Corps, and it has a uh, bit of a stronger position. The CSA also has a flag out here they can get up. Um, 
It's kind of far out, so I don't blame. Eh, I'd risk it. I'd send the team out to get it. You might lose a couple guys doing it, but it's it'd be worth it to get those respawns in. In my opinion. CSA has been pushed down to taking losses. They are slightly behind on tickets. As you can. Don't sit in the open. Well, I think you meant the right. Are we talking about the tree to the right or to the left? Because the right was set up. I killed him. Someone moved a lot. Yeah, aim for those two flags, boys. There's a full of enemy around those flags. Oh, we got one down. Nice. Alright, they're about to run away. Last couple, last couple shots into him. It's a good fire here by Mr. Killer and his A and B. They are pushing back the 2 USC and the NYB and kind of opening up some space for the CSA. Meantime, who got back here? 13 Chargers back here and they are possibly going to cut off the 12th VA. Now these units here should move up. There's no point in them staying there anymore. JB's here with them, and this will knock out the 12th VA. Yeah, this year now these elements need to start moving up, which they are doing. Union has been put into. Uh, yep, they're giving them the right now. Chris Moto here, I would say, is in danger. Uh, well, maybe not. They are moving Eddie over here to try to block it off. Um, so maybe it's not a problem, although they are they're thinning out the center there, and you got Killer over there who can you know kind of plunge into the middle here. So that is the. We'll see. Lost. We'll see if they can hold this. I think they're a little bit weak in the center. In the center, they will break. They will break in the center. Oh, I think that was from platoon. I don't know. My files left and hold. Uh, we got to do that. So now we have an attack by the NYV into here, but there's also a simultaneous attack developing here in the woods. We'll see if the CSA can win on either one. I think they have a better shot over here, but they have a lot of uncommitted forces. This is a little bit too much on uncommitted here. And Victor has come in to knock it out. You can't let your battle buddies fight by themselves and take pot shots. You have to win these fights. Looks like Boyer won it, but because she took so long, 12th VA has come in to help stop the bleeding. So again, it's not just winning the fight, it's winning the fight in sufficient time. Yep. Nice, boys, nice. And so far, the two USC and NYV have been able to hold off on this flank here. You still have 5th Corps in the center. But my biggest concern here is the ANV joined by Denisimo and the DB. They can still plunge into the center here. Especially now that the right side has been substantially weakened. Here's ten, uh, Tennessee here, kind of occupying this central position. And you still have probably, what is this, JB back here in the back side? Yep, JB back in the right back side once more. Doing their harassment activities, maybe trying to draw off the 12th VA. Yep, 12th VA has been pushed off. CSA now controls that full right side there, CSA right. Uh, now you do have a Union attack here, trying to resecure their right flank here. Um, I agree with this move, actually. I think this was the right move here. The Union can secure at least one flank and knock down some flags and then turn around in time. I think this is a great maneuver here. 
to help secure the field. So I'd say good job there by the NYV and the uh, home guard there under Mr. Eddie. But here comes the efforts by the CSA. Canada leading the way here with the 20th. 20th, look right, they're coming down the road. Yeah, we see, we see. Nice follow there by the 20th. I didn't really see it too much. So now what needs to happen is these guys need to move forward and knock off Chris Moto. Um, that's what needs to happen right now. Who is killer? I'm kind of surprised he's not pushing forward here. They have, they have him. Um, but if they wait too long, they're going to lose the opportunity, and that will allow the Union to come back in here. Now, you do have the 6AL here in 9th Corps. That's his forward element trying to delay the 51st, the SB here. We'll see if they can, but the clock is ticking now. We'll see if the CSA can uh, capitalize on the situation that's been created. I'm Union. I'm Union. I'm Union. Calm down. Not me. No, no I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not Union. I'm sorry. I was trying to check. Okay, yep, here it went off when I wasn't looking, so he did exactly what he needed to. Mr. Killer, he knows. Killer knows. The A and V knows. And they did it. And they've been able to hold on so far on this side as well. But you see now Killer has forced the Union. 2USC is charging them out here. And they are going to lose a lot of tickets Get here. The Union flag. already Get lost on, one flag here. Targray getting up, doing a wise thing. Uh, you die, boy. Oh, shit. Let's see if Eddie can Thank carry you. this attack yeah. through. Follow me. Uh. It looks like no. And this is going to be very bad for the Union. Now, you do have this element down here. NYV Parker did knock back the 13th. But they are still a threat down here. Now they are cut off from the main fight. So Parker's in a bit of a sit you know tough situation right now. Oh, are they capping? Don't cap. Oh, why'd you cap? Oh, that was poor timing on the CSA. They if they had waited a few more seconds and got him down to breaking, that would have been the end of the match. But now they gotta defend for seven minutes, so. Uh, um, it was about five, I looks. Think. I don't know who it was. It might have been these guys here. It might have been these guys over there. It's a big point. But um, that was poor discipline on the CSA's point. When they could have uh, won the game right there with a little bit more discipline among their troops. If you're asking how do they know, all you do is hit the uh, T button and it'll tell you if you're capping or you're not capping. It'll say, you know, capturing or defending. And in the CSA case, it would say capturing in the bottom right hand of the screen if you hit T. So uh, there's really no excuse besides, hey, I was playing. I wasn't paying attention, uh, which is fine. But, again, that goes back to lack of discipline and lack of uh, awareness. What the oh, yes, enemy flag to the right. Enemy flag to the right. And here we go. Parker's going to try to get, get out of this mess, but he's, 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 ooh. I don't, I don't think he's gonna do it. And that is the end of Parker and his men. Oh, we got it. Come here, are you my size? Shoot him down. You're my size. Give me them shoes. And now Parker's been wiped out with his flag down. That is going to be a challenge. you got several Union flags down. This is going to be a big problem for the Union right now, having all these flags down while they're trying to take the point. But we do have an attack over here. You just hold this line. Hold this line. Hold the line, boys. Hold the line. Hold the line. Hey, hey, no warning. And so far, 20th and 9th Corps are making a good team and have been able to hold. They and 10th uh, Tennessee is in here as well. So this element over here, they are bruised and battered, but they are unbroken and unbeaten. Yep. And here, once more, CSA is taking this corner here. And they might be able to once more wrap up. Eddie is right. They need that flag. But it's going to be very tough to get it now. No. Oh, so you're dead. I'll, I'll do it. Pro, go. Is it the one right in front of me? Go with God. Yeah, run. Charging, they're charging, they're charging. They're charging. Oh, to the left. Charge left. Independent fire, defend yourselves. Charging, 
chap didn't make it. Eddie sent him to his death. You all witnessed it. Like I said, the main priority you need to have right now is keeping your flag up. The second priority is knocking down the enemy's flag. Everything else is now third priority. Hand over your force, kid. Hello. Uh, yeah, people could tell me that, you know, oh, there's no change in how the game plays. I say uh, you are, have a uh, misunderstanding of the facts. Now, you can argue it's a better change. I think that comes down to a matter of opinion and what kind of gameplay you like to see. So that, I have no problem with somebody says they like the change with the five seconds. I think that's a perfectly legitimate opinion. But this idea that the game has not changed is... Henry, we're here. Hold here, guys. Hold here on the fence. Misguided. I'll say that in a nice manner. You are misguided if you think the game has not changed. You can say, well, it's not, it's not you know, the changes aren't that significant. Again, I'd say that comes down to a matter of opinion, and I'm willing to accept that, but again. How these events and how these matches function has changed. And if you're not adjusting how you play the game to match these challenge, these changes that have been made, you are going to be left behind. You might not really realize it right away because other people might be making the same mistakes, but as people start to learn these things and people start to, you know, consider how has he think, how has this changed? You will be increasingly left behind. So you're either ahead of the curve or behind the curve. It's up to you. But the curve is there. Whether you like it or not. Oh, they're all there, but most of them have died already. Well, that ain't good. And the C Union is about to get put on to final push here. Nice attack here. Who is this? HD doing a nice spoil attack here against 5th Corps. Trying to keep them bottled up here and keep them from concentrating into an attack. We'll see if the Union can manage enough of a force here. Oh, what attack is this? It's SB trying to find an angle. Final push for the Union. Somebody charge. Oh. Yeah. Get oh. Oh. Get oh. 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 Got the enemy flag down. Enemy flag is down. We fold, we fold. Oh, there. We fold. Oh, the right in the chest. Good and again, as long as these flags are up, it's going to be very hard for the Union to out attrit this. They need to overwhelm it. So sitting there loading does nothing for you now. Sitting there taking little shots, nothing. You need to overwhelm this. Because if you don't, you get the men back in. 48 men in per every minute if I have four flags up in formation. Your whole team is 120. Do the math. Charge and that is it. Decisive win by the CSA. They were able to do a great job shaping the Union, kind of getting them into uh, unfavorable positions, concentrating their fire, concentrating their efforts. Um, some decent counterattacks by the Union, but uh, some of them were wasted charges, to be honest with you. Um, that really did not serve the overall purpose. And as to keep on it, you can't waste your tickets and waste your time anymore. You have to be very particular about where and when you fight. And flags are essential. You, can, you need to do everything you can to keep your flag up and knock the other's flags down. That needs to be your overriding concern. Um, checking the time... 
I'll try to catch the full second match. I might have to cut all early, but I will do my best.